today, I've been given no reason to believe that the city of White Plains has taken any steps to suspend any of these officers or to even place them on modified duty. This failure to act continues to send a strong message to my family, as well as White Plains residents, that when employees acting on the color of law from this city taunt an elderly man, use racial slurs against him, break into his home, and shoot him to death, they will be permitted to continue to carry a gun and a badge without impunity. Today, we filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of White Plains and the police officers involved in my father's death. It appears that this may be the only way to get answers as to how and why he died in his home like a caged animal. So far, my family and the public have received only empty promises of a full internal investigation and the policies and practices of the Department of Public Safety. Empty promises are unacceptable when residents of this city are killed by police officers. For the most part, I grew up in White Plains and attended White Plains Public Schools. As a child, I thought this was one of the better cities to live in. But with the death of my father and other incidents that have come to light since then, unfortunately, I now see this city and some of its employees as clinging to racist attitudes that are unacceptable and should be condemned by every public official and resident of White Plains. As the mayor and the members of the Common Council, you are the leaders of this city. So please, lead by example and let it be known that racism, police misconduct, brutality, and criminality will not be tolerated here. Thank you.